Okay. Hey, friends. Hello. So, do, before we start this, do you want to... I don't know. So, we're playing a game that I have played and Nick hasn't. Yeah, I know, I know absolutely nothing about this besides, like, the title of it and that it looks like an anime scary game. Yes, this is... It's not an old game, per se. We'll go into more of the history as we go. But, originally, we were going to play this on the 3DS... And then we discovered that it's in fact on the Switch. And Yep, just making life easier. Yep. Like I love the 3DS, but it's it's the most difficult thing to stream from. And I would really hate if we did the design like you know, if we like played this game but it wasn't all that good. One for the audience, of course, but also for you because reasons. I mean it's also just like more convenient. Yeah. So to like if we're gonna both be playing it to have it on a TV. Yeah. Um, okay, cool. Yeah, so we're gonna play Corpse Party. And I'm going to start putting this nonsense, good stuff, on social media. Is the TV muted? Should be. Yes, it was. Yeah. Thank you. Don't you love that little old doll? Uh-huh. It's cute, ain't it? Go ahead and, like, point out differences, too, between, like, the 3DS version and this one, too, whenever they happen. I think, for the most part, it, they're going to be, be the, the same, same, except for, like, uh, just a quality upgrade. However, um, originally, this game was released in the 90s on RPG Maker. Oh really? Yeah, this I is didn't an RPG it was maker that old. game. Yep. Really? Okay. Yep, and then it went from PC to um, PS Vita, and it's kind of expanded from there. I I'm gonna be honest. Hearing that it was like like an indie like RPG maker game f from really the nineties. Yeah. That 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 makes me way more interested. Mm-hmm. Okay. So um real happy that this is just like continued it's got its own anime series it's gotten its own manga series mm -hmm. it's it's pretty good i'm gonna sit speed to fast also do you want to have a voice volume on yeah but i want to change the language probably to japanese if we have the option i think it, it already is in japanese okay pretty sure That's like the text language. It says resume, but I have never started, so I don't know what that would do. Yeah, so just go chapter select. I think that's for if you have like multiple, uh, multiple files. Okay. Recording. View the opening. Would you like to view the chapter one opening? Are you trying to speed run this? No, I want no context and have no clue what's going on. That she is my friend. She'd do anything for me. I don't think she ever changes anymore. Is that what I said? Yes. That one was tough. Indeed. But I still love her with all my heart. heart. Why is this game timed? Is that important? Is this game timed? No. No. Well, there are some portions where the time is important, mm -hmm. but this is not it. Okay. Um, should we read it or should we just let the reading happen? Uh, we can let the reading happen. This is also why I asked if you wanted to have voiceover in this game or not. Okay.
Oh no. She fell. And then she died. That sucks. Okay, so she she is a high schooler and she's like recounting this story in front of a candle about a, a teacher who died and how this place used to be like an elementary school instead. Yep. Okay. Okay, so bad bad things happening. The school had to close, and then the principal commit committed suicide. Yup. He done did the thing thing. Mm-hmm. Boom. They, they really, like, had the low voice for the talking so that the scream was loud. Yeah, right. I'm gonna open a can of soda. Uh oh. There's one, two, three, four, seven people. Yep. I'm just counting now because I feel like this number is going to get smaller. Uh oh. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh no! Okay, so he's a pervert and a coward. <laughs> and now we've got to get the door. Yup. It's up to him now. Oh. Oh, we play as him. You are playing. That's unfortunate. It. Yep. <laughs> His main character. This game was originally released in 96. Okay. Oh, that door doesn't work. And then the remakes came out. Or a sequel came out 10 years later. I was kind of, I'm kind of surprised to actually, like, control a character. Like, I thought it was going to be entirely, like, a text adventure. Yeah, I had no clue, like, what type of thing this was. Everyone's so quiet. And now you know. Ah! <laughs> 
seven. Wait, was seven the number before? Or was it six? It was seven, I think. Eight. Okay, we got a teacher too. Yep. I might have miscounted before though. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, no, but eight. oh, okay, yeah. There's the guy down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. It was planned from the start. They got pranked. I like her panda um necklace. Mm -hmm. So are are these the original like portraits for the characters or have they been redone for the re-release? Um let me see actually. I don't I don't think that uh in ninety six RPG maker they could have done because I, I I know that like the the old Higarashi games had like some crazy different art from the modern re releases. Like it was obviously done by one person before. And then they like redid it when they ported it to newer stuff. Okay, yeah, it looked a little bit different. Okay, but pretty similar. Yeah. Pretty similar, just more pixely. Something else is here. Nine. How nice of her. Yes. We have the cute little sister. I'm scared for her. Yes, hello Oscar. Welcome to the spooky stream. How you doing? I've played this before, but Nick has not. Yeah, I have no clue what I'm getting into here. <laughs> so far, um uh, the one of the girls and the teacher pranked all these students into being a, being big spooked. And the, about like a legend of a school and the like in the principal killed himself. Yeah. And now that candle is a fire hazard, so, yeah. uh... Oh yeah, it's time for multiple characters to die. Ooh. But whoops. Or all? You're betting for the white shirt boy. Oh, really? Well, I, I think that's who I'm in control of, so I don't know how that's going to pan out. Aww. So it's right after the culture festival. She's about to move. She is. She is quite cute. She definitely could make friends quickly. What a good last day, though. 
Yeah. Hell, I just wish we, like, had those sorts of culture festivals at schools over here. Right. Like, the closest thing, I guess, would be, like, a spring fling or a dance, but that's not the same. Right. But the trade-off is, is, like, we get to go home at, like, 2 p.m. while they're at school <laughs> literally all day every day. Right. Oscar, I haven't started Monster Hunter yet, but I, I will soon. I want to beat some other stuff first. More Ishigi. Shige, I guess. Yeah, he's been quiet. Yeah, that, that's me. So I know the version you have with the 3DS is like two little keychains of two of the characters. Which ones are they? Okay, it's Seiko, so one of them's her. Uh -huh. And the other one is Naomi, is which is her friend. Okay. And I guess they're just two small figures. Like I don't, like I could take them out and put them somewhere, but they're so small, and I would I would just like to keep them like with the collector stuff. Yeah. Stop. You're so handsome. Oh, is he supposed to be the charming one? I mean, I just like glasses. Yeah, you do. What is he doing? It looks like he's about to stab her. What is that? <laughs> stab me too! What is he holding? It's those two, right? Those, yep. Okay. Yep, they're the, the besties. Oh, he's taking a photo. Oh! With his cell phone. Oh, okay. Aww. He's gonna send all of them the photo, but he's not in it. Sad. Oh, you're about to initiate some ritual, aren't you? One of them occult things. Oh boy. I love charms. Nick, are you going to get Legend of Arceus? Oh yeah, absolutely. We'll, absolutely. We'll, we'll probably play it on here. I don't know if we'll play it on here like initially though, or if we'll like do a second run. I don't know, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Sachiko... We beg well, of you. That was the name of the, that was the name at the beginning in the spooky text, right? Yep. Yeah. Or it was that was Sachi. So she was maybe like, that's Sachiko what will always love me or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Once for every person. If you don't say it like the total number of times the, the the difference of people are going to die.
They done did it. And pull apart. Yup. Oh god. Why is this immediately creepy? Oh, that looks like the the little paper doll that what's her face from the the Akatsuki. Um Kanan? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Take your nails into it. Okay, why'd you scream? It, it was lightning. Gary. Did everyone get a scrap? Everyone got a scrap. Now you can leave happy. So happy. Pretty cool teacher letting them just do like occult body pulling rituals in the classroom. Oh yeah. Hours after everyone else in the school's left. Oh, just an earthquake. Holy crap, big. Holy shit, big. Duck and cover. Yep. Uh-oh. Do not get under the desk. Is this like the Wily e. Coyote thing? Like he's suspended in the air until he looks down? That's right. Do I think Nick will scream in terror? I think he's gonna be, a. Uh... He'll jump a little at some point. Because I know I did. I think at some point you'll be disturbed. I might be slightly restless. You know, when I first played this, it was like, since it was on my 3DS, whenever I got too scared, I just turned the sound off. Uh-huh. I got headphones on. Yeah, we have headphones on now. So whenever the Banshee starts, like, yelping, it's gonna go directly to my brain. Oh, yeah. Hey, Corgi, happy to have you here. Hey, how you doing? Ah, uh, a brilliant game. Kind of an old game. Not old, but... Have you played this? It's older than me. I imagine that you see you have seen gameplay of this, right, Corgi? I think I missed something. Oh no, you can just walk around now. Right? I cannot move. What's going on? Oh, I accidentally clicked hide window, I think. <coughs> okay, now I can move around. Oh, I'm not playing as main character boy? No. Was that complete misdirection? Did you lie? No. Okay. Everyone is separated. Okay. Alright, we all get, gotta get back together. You have seen gameplay and played. A good show indeed. Is there an anime based on it? Yep, there is an anime based on it. Huh. Is this a game like every decision makes a difference? Uh, not really. As far as I'm aware, um, the characters who go will still go. 
Like, like there's kind of a set story in terms of who who dies and whatnot. Yeah, but there are different endings. Yeah, there are bad endings that you can get as you go. Because I did see like a list of endings was on the menu. Yep. Okay. Oh my god! It for like the good ending <laughs> or the best ending, I guess. Um, I had to go back so many times. It sucked so bad. Oh, there's a rusty bucket. I can fill that with so much blood. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's spookier in here. Uh, Alexa. Turn off cove lights. Okay. Is the best ending being friends with the ghost? I don't... <sighs> Uh-oh. I don't remember the difference between, like, the best ending... Uh-oh. Students are missing. Wait, was Heavenly the name of the current school or like the old elementary school? The old elementary school. Oh, are we back in time now? The third student has gone missing. The fifth grader. Either these names are important, not important, or they're super important and gonna get filled in later. Police are investigating the possibility of a serial kidnapping and have assigned countless investigators to the case in hopes of a speedy resolution. However, 10 days have already passed since the first disappearance, giving parents and classmates ample cause for concern. Yeah, uh, Corgi, this is Nick's first time playing, but I have beaten the game. I, I know nothing about it except what I've seen so far. There's some sort of official looking printout pinned to the wall. Yeah, true. Your friend is right there. Potentially hurt. No, I'm gonna get distracted by this poster. Here's where I gotta swing the Joy Cons in like a chest compression with a <laughs> like CPR. She's like, the fuck? This is on the Switch. There are two Quartz Party games on the Switch. How many are there total? I think there are three total. Okay. Yeah, we were originally planning to stream this on the 3DS, but Kristen, like, immediately found out the day before that there was a Switch port and made our lives a million times easier. Kara, are you trying to tell me that there are 27 Quartz Party games? No way. This isn't the land before time. <laughs> it ain't budging. If I've learned anything from Danganronpa, it's when the, the windows schools the school's windows are like shut off and like closed, that's bad. Mm. Oh. I tried to look at it earlier, but no. No. I had to attend to my unconscious friend. Indeed. That's a pretty good question. That That's an even better question, actually. Okay, 
今度はごめん黙ってんのねえ何が何だかとにかく学校の外に出てみない I can't even think about what the hell I would do in that situation. In like what complete silence? Yeah, part I, of me would just want to like sit in a corner. We were like at a friend's house last weekend in like a very rural place, and like I didn't have my like brown noise machine that I always use when I sleep, and it was like dead silent up there. I could I couldn't hear like cars or airports in the distance. It was like freaky silent, mm -hmm. and like the sound of my own heartbeat was keeping me awake, and it it was kind of disturbing. Yeah, I think uh, she had a clock somewhere in the house, and I could hear the clock. I was like terrified I was gonna start hearing like tapping on the window or something. Oh, Aw, Naomi, good on you for taking the initiative. Let's go find our friends. Just two friends hanging out in a haunted elementary school. What could happen? They might hold hands. They're, they were already doing that. Aw. What? Character introduction! Oh. Use the what? eye. Weird. This is... <laughs> Weird. What? What? All right. Do okay. you want to be introduced to everyone? I I, I do. I, I'm just like sh I'm just kind of shocked that they're like letting me do this. I thought like <laughs> I thought I was like oh I I missed all the, like the character building stuff and now I'm gonna be fucked when it comes to the like story moments. It's you. You are the I. Okay. Satoshi Mokita, a 17 year old student in Kisaragi Academy senior class two nine. Fairly average, but popular. Known for being both kind and cowardly in equal measure. Despite his timidness, he's very personable and open, which complements his general sensitivity towards others to make him a natural leader. The one person ever to challenge that leadership is Naomi, who is, consequently, the only person whom Satoshi regularly defers judgment. So they've got kind of like a rivalry, th but respectful type of thing going on. Yeah. There she is! Naomi Nakashima, a 17-year-old student in Kisaragi High Class 2-9 and a classmate of Satoshi's since junior high. Frequent, frequently greet Satoshi with, oh, not you again. <laughs> Having lost her father a few years back, Naomi and her mother now depend on one another for moral support. Still, she remains optimistic and cheerful. Her home life was has given her an interest in nursing, which she's intent on pursuing. She spends her time studying, aiming for acceptance to medical school. Aww. Uh, which one was the one that like brought the like cursed paper doll? Um, down and in, right. In the corner? No, nah, next to her. There? Yep. Okay, just wondering. Seiko Shinohara, a 17-year-old student in Kisaragi class 2-9. Are they all in 2-9? I think so, yeah. Okay. Lives very close to Naomi and generally accompanies her to and from school each day. Free spirit, she says, or does things that takes other by surprise, even though she's easily forgiven to her good nature and amiabil ami amiability? Yes. Her mother disappeared three years ago, leaving her with three young younger siblings and a working father. As such, she basically serves as head of the household. Okay. So she's like kind of goofy but also responsible yeah psycho seems to hold naomi uh in regard as a kindred spirit and the two of them frequently have long conversations about their dreams for the future and those two are the best friends yep they are best friends and they're the, the two figures we have 
Yuka Mochita, Satoshi's 16-year-old sister. Although she's an eighth grader at Kisar she's an eighth grader at Kisaragi Academy Junior High School, she looks and acts much older. Younger. Younger. Okay. Opposite word. In the Mochita household, Yuka's always been the princess, generally getting her way and thus never really shedding her childlike behavior. Despite this, she yearns to grow, often attempting to act older or braver than she is. Which sometimes gets her into trouble, okay? It's Sakutaro, a cutie! Sakutaro Morishige. A 16-year-old student in class 2-9. He's been in theater club with Mayu since middle school and developed a real closeness with her. He finds socializing with anyone else to be more trouble than it's worth. However, he typically regards his other classmates with indifference. Okay, he's like the cool one. Yeah. That like shows shows like little regard for others, except he will when it really counts. Takes great pride in his family heritage and reacts violently if anyone makes fun of his name. The only exception is the nickname Mayu's given him, Shig. So he basically only cares about Mayu. Okay. I'm gonna call him Shig from now on, even though he'd hate it. Shiggy. Yeah. What's going on in there? Oh, it was when uh, Porgy said that there were 27 games. Oh, God. Miss Yui Shishido, a 23-year-old 11th grade English teacher at Kisarage. Hi. She started the semester after passing her teaching exam and is eager to make an impression, so she's, like, brand new. Damn, we're older than her. Yeah. Although not a perfect instructor by any means, her unjaded zeal and enthusiasm are infectious. And her students seem generally responsive to her methods. Although she serves as a school assistant during homeroom for class 2-9, and really seems to have connected with the students there. You got this guy! Yoshiki Kishinuma. He's gotta start a fight. I bet. Is he the tough one? A 17-year-old student in Kisarage 2-9, often regarded as sarcastic and cynical. Oh, I like that. But as far as he's concerned, he's just being honest. Yeah, I, I like this guy. He's being honest. Although generally not one to participate in events, his fondness for Satoshi and Ayumi means he'll make an exception now and again if either is involved. With intense drama at home, Yoshiki currently works part-time after school to afford rent on a small apartment where he lives alone. Wow, you go to school, live part-time, I mean, work part-time and live on your own? Yeah, I, I kind of uh, immediately like this guy. He's also the only blonde one. He is, yes. Okay, you're the one that brought the, the fucking cursed baby yeah. puppet. That's her. Ayumi Shinozaki. She's the class old. rep. Oh, okay. Class rep of 2-9 often subjects her classmates to ghost stories and revels in hearing them scream. So she's suspicious immediately. It's generally believed that she carries candles and other horror goods with her at all times, just in case an opportunity presents itself to use them. Like this opportunity. In truth, however, Ayumi wears this reputation as a mask to hide her fear of the unknown, which rivals even Satoshi's in its intensity. When faced with any truly scary situation, her knees give out and she and panic sets in. Only her personal pride can break her out of this fear induced state. Okay. And finally Mayu Suzumoto. A 16-year-old student in Kisaragi 2-9 somehow looks much tinier than she actually is, but possesses a big heart and bright personality. Accepts anyone and everyone with open arms, never playing favorites, has earned her nearly universal regard among her fellow students. Unfortunately, due to familial circumstances, this was Mayu's last day at Kisaragi High. She'll be moving shortly and transferring to a new school. All right, and that's the cast. It, it, it just feels like there's room for one more. It's like, you. Is this is this eyeball like important to the plot at all? No. Is it, is it literally just for this it, room? It, it's just for this. Okay. Okay, cool. Stop. I can't say that. I can't say okay, cool anymore. Because it sets off Google half the time. Oh. Uh... 
You want to play the game? Sure. Okay. Heavenly host, due to all the faculty and students, due to recent kidnappings, caution is highly recommended. In each instance, the victim was taken quickly and unexpectedly, so please remain alert and aware at all times. From the principal. Who killed himself? Wait a second. It's just an aftershock, right? Uh oh. Oh, is the school bun gonna be like rearranging itself in real time? Oh, but we still got the bucket. Oh, there's a yellow fluid in it now. I, I love congealing yellow fluid. It's pee. I hope not. Please don't say that. Was that blocking the way? Nope, I can go right past. Okay. Examine dead end. Shoot the wall. And this is where we started, right? Yes. Blocked off. Yep. Okay. Just being thorough. That is a okay. Probably gonna need to get an item to cross that. And was there anything else important in here? Probably not. That looks kind of suspicious. Ooh, we have a vault. We're moving up from hand holding. To leaning. We're leaning on each other. The fuck? Oh, I hate that. The whole thing's fucking filled with hair? What? Long black Why? hairs. Why? Well, would you rather it be fingernails? I don't what else are you gonna put in these shelves? Uh, uh... <laughs> okay. It's man, I I, I mm... <laughs> you don't like it. I don't I don't like the, the hair baby that's in there. There's a big hair baby in there. Okay, that's the same thing. I need. That's the outside of the school. Oh, I thought it was a staircase. Uh, You're on the bottom right of this room. Oh, never mind. Uh-oh. Now the gap. Mm-hmm. The dead end. Dense foliage. Denser than the hair cabinet. Did you not interact with that block at all? Oh! I, I literally just assumed it was part of, like, the decoration on the floor. <laughs> okay, there's two gaps I can cross with that. Cool. But which way will you go? Um... This one's closest, so I'm not gonna do it first. Ooh! Spicy! I hope I get another one. Indeed. That would suck if you didn't. Now that cool music is gone. Yeah. Bones.
Dead, dead. Let's go up to it. Let me reload this real quick. Let's sniff him. Oh, he's gonna- he's a friendly ghost like Casper. He's gonna warn us about the dangers. They brought you. So they said there were three disappearances in the elementary school and then the principal committed suicide. Mm hmm And also there was like a mom that disappeared in one of the characters' descriptions. I don't that might not be relevant. Uh yeah, it was Seiko's mom who disappeared. Okay. Spaces. <laughs> Aren't you so happy to know that all of your oh, friends God. have been brought into this hellscape too? Yeah, I'm so relieved that all my friends are experiencing the same eternal damnation that I am. Oh, can I make like a guess? Yeah. If the good ending is like you find everyone and you're able to like reunite the paper doll and the like spirit that was inhabiting it, like can use their spirit powers to get you out. Um, there there are certain items that you need to collect. Okay. That you need to use them to get the good ending, but you also like we'll get we'll cross that bridge when it gets to it. But there's one thing that really tripped me up about it. Okay. One small decision that can, like, totally just, like, nix it. Really? Yeah. Are you gonna, like, tell me, or are you gonna let me find out on my own? Oh, I'll let you find out on your own. And then I'll go back and redo it. Okay. Like a dialogue option at some point? Yeah. Oh, who are you? Okay, not gonna lie, that got me a little bit. What, the creepy little girl? It wasn't scary when she just appeared as a sprite, but I wasn't expecting to switch to the art, and then that got me. You like her hair? What, how it's covering one eye? How it's long and black. 
Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, I think the scares in this game are primarily going to be from stuff like that. Where it's like, oh, a thing appeared and then we're cutting to the art of it really quickly. Yeah, the very high quality art. You can see every strand of hair in that cabinet. Mm hmm So did you kind of understand what that uh soul was talking about with the uh going straight back in? Ooh. Uh but he was saying that it's it's there's vengeful vengeful spirits for some reason that have pulled that like pull people regularly from I guess this high school or where whatever this location is in the present to this cursed version of it that's like taking the form of the elementary school in the past and it's like in another reality but it's like layered so not everyone's experiencing the same version of it yep exactly but i, I i'm imagining it's stuff like uh like they can affect each other's versions of it like if it, it like maybe if someone moves some furniture in one it'll affect it in the other it's something like that okay cool yep and the puzzles are going to involve that what does that picture look like um, it looks like a cat with, like, scissors sticking out of its butt. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I was right about the scissors, at least. Pursuing four smaller figures. Um. Uh, look at the bones. I'm, well, I'm thinking about how, like, scissors are now important. Mm hmm And, like, the paper creature from before the doll that they tore apart is like the kind that you would like fold the paper in half and then cut out half of it and then you get the full paper doll oh. where you can make like a string of them mm -hmm. yay we get to collect name tags oh, from cool. dead bodies Cool. Is that the collectible in this That's game? That's the collectible in this game. I want to find all six corpses in chapter one. Caught in a trap and bled out. F. Exactly. What was that inventory? Not, not important. You, yet got, again. you got none inventory. And now you can save the game! Oh, these are save points? These are save points. Cool. Okay. So, what what initially, like, sparked your interest in this game? Because, like, you kind of, like, were talking about it out of the blue a couple of years ago. And, like, you wanted me to play it. And I was like, what's going on here? So, initially, I, Charlene, watched it. Watched a Let's Player play it. Uh-huh. And... I just kind of, like, was along for the ride, and I saw, like, like the second half of that playthrough, but it always just kind of, like, stuck in my mind. So when I was, like, working at GameStop, and I found out that Corpse Party was getting a limited edition release on the 3DS, like, I didn't have Steam, I didn't have a PSP, I was just like, oh, hell yeah, like, I'm definitely gonna support this release of the game. Okay. And then you just got it because of that, and then you played it, and you're like, I like this. Yep. Okay. Gotcha. I'm, I'm worried about, like, going too far in any direction because I'm afraid I'm going to, like, permanently miss something. Right. Is it that kind of game? Can I, like, permanently miss stuff? I just don't think that they'll allow you to go further without... Like, it'll be obvious when I'm about to go too far? I think so. Oh, for all eternity. Ooh. But th that means if you're feeling really good in the moment of death, you'll feel good forever, right? Mm. How'd you die? Give me your name tag. Ooh, that. what's that? An unknown key. That classic key shape. <laughs>
It's like die giving each other like back massages and then you'll feel like you have a back massage forever. Mm-hmm. Okay, rubble. Arnie rubble. Bonky music is this is where I came from, right? That's the pee, yeah. that's the pee bucket. That is the pee bucket. I'm gonna have to do something with the pee bucket in the hair cabinet at some point. Oh my god, she thought about it. What? Go back. Go back and uh, examine it again. You're in like a parallel torture school that's in another realm. Let's go <laughs> literally anywhere. This hole is all over the place. And just fall on one of them. You could find water somewhere, maybe. I bet, like, um, falling through the holes is, like, how you travel between the different, like, versions of the place or whatever. The door is locked. Good thing I have a key. Indeed. If it's perfectly inside there. A good feeling. <laughs> booty. Booty. You trying to get some booty in here? Absolutely. Well, that seems like an important decision. Are there are there game overs in this game? I mean, yeah, I'm going to go in and find out. Yeah, there are bad ends. We're, we're going to get killed by like the spooky monster. Oh, name tag. I would say it'd be fun to uh to die a few times. That's an interesting way to put it. <laughs> eh. Oh, that newspaper right there. Ooh. That one right there. That Look at you. An unlit, unlit candle. It's the like, it's the like, you're telling someone not to Google something thing when you want them to do it. Yeah, we're getting booty. We are getting booty. The serial kidnapping ends in murder. Oh no. The good name of Heavenly Host Elementary School has been stained in blood today, as horrific details on the recent wave of disappearances are revealed. Over the past month, numerous children have gone missing within the town and authorities quickly turned to kidnapping as the most likely explanation. Now investigators have located the whereabouts of these children, and their findings are far worse than anyone could have anticipated. The bodies of the absconded youths were located within Heavenly Host Elementary School building on September 15th, 1973, at around 7 p.m. Your mouse the booty we're looking for! Okay, but why is this, like, corpse not wanting me to know this? Authorities further revealed that a male instructor from the school was found with them, alive but near catatonic, holding a pair of bloodied scissors. Okay. Each of the corpses appeared to have had its tongue severed and removed. You something unique, mutilations far too grotesque, something... Grotesque and disgusting to describe. Is this gonna get filled in later, or do I have to like play Wheel of Fortune each time? I think you'll get more newspapers. Oh, okay, I get like more context as time goes on. We came into this room to find booty, and we found ourselves a newspaper. Oh. Okay, what moved? Oh, okay. Lovely. Did you write these words? Ooh, the door is closed. Okay. Uh oh. Okay, so I'm gonna jump into the hole, right? I can get out. Of course. Maybe that candle will work now. Oh. 
Nope. Okay. I feel like this is out of place, and I want to push it into place, but <laughs> that doesn't do anything. Okay. Okay, okay, here's what we know. We're in a room, the door is fake, can't get out, everything's hopeless, might as well give up. Yes. But that's not how video games work, so there's a pixel somewhere that I have to activate. Uh, is that one of the pixels you already activated? Well, that's new. Well, reading that again started the music, so something's going on. What'd you say? You're crying now? I wonder why. Dense foliage. I am mashing the A button as I move around uh, at this I, point. I know. You're crying. Why are you crying? Why is she dead? Does the newspaper still say the same thing? No, oh, there we go. <laughs> what you gonna do? If we put our minds to it, we can get out of this room. Easy. No more hair in here. No, I can't reach that one. Well, isn't that unfortunate? Started working? You got out! Was that like timed? Like I had to wait for a certain amount of time to pass? I think you had to take a certain amount of steps. Okay. I did. I had to appease my Fitbit. <laughs> oh shit. Well, now you're doomed. Well, now really nothing can protect you. You hate all your friends, eventually, you'll kill another. Words to live by. Yeehaw! And die by. This path. Yeah, it was. Okay. Oh! Boy, fly noises. Oh boy, what could it be? Can it get darker when I go down there? Uh huh. I'm gonna check up here first just to be safe. Ah. Tasteful. You like that smell? Oh, 
I get away from it, I mean, examine every inch of it. Yeah, try and find that student ID. Yeah. It got dark and then light again. That seems important. The flies make a difference. How did flies get into this pocket dimension? <laughs> they just can't be stopped. Are they just like a casualty of like pulling some random people from reality to the pocket <laughs> dimension the flies come with? Ooh. What? Another plank. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I went too far down. I wonder if I can take that and go, like, all the way back with it. So that you can go down. I think those were the only two, like, crossable-looking gaps. I think there was another one to your north. I'm gonna just check down these stairs while I'm here before I, like, backtrack a, a right, long time. Right, yeah. There's several crumpled sheets of paper on the floor next to the body. They seem to have been dropped by the victim at the time of death. We four noble musketeers begin today. Let's meet behind the main gate after school. Weren't four people being chased by this other person? <laughs> Mostly bleached. Okay. Loose bones and scraps of clothing are dangling from a hole in the ceiling above the body, suggesting she fell to her death. Ow. Oh. Got the ID. Ah, uh, so she's Yuzuha, who was mentioned in the note. Mentioned in what? That note that you read on the ground. Oh, cool. I told everyone I'd go with them, so why have I been left behind? It hurts so much. So was this made by one person? I think so. I think this was primarily made by one person. Okay. I know there's only really been like the one song so far, but I really like it. Mm-hmm. This is pretty sprawling, actually. And I just saw the darkness over there again. I'm gonna go back and use that plank of wood at the very beginning now. Cool. I, I feel like it's it's the, like there's like a lot over here. Where'd the music go? Fuck, there's another step-based event gonna happen and freak me out. <laughs> I don't like when the music stops. It's really actually terrifying. The meat explosion. Meat explosion, indeed. Got it. Okay, please, music, come back, please. Ambient noise will do. What does that thirty out of thirty mean? Is it health? Yep. Is that like is it like psychic damage or like physical health? It's like physical health. Okay. Like if you that creaked. Is that shit gonna fall if I walk over a certain <laughs> amount of time? Because I, I don't know what like what actions in this game have consequences so far, so I'm paranoid of literally everything. point twice for good measure It 
Is it is it like in character for these two to be collecting these these name tags? <laughs> I don't I don't think like, so. What, what... I think that's primarily like a you thing. Okay, it's a me thing. Like I I I the player am choosing to do that. Mm-hmm. All right, so the the dude who really started this, Makoto Kendoin, uh -huh. um, primarily works on Corpse Party. However, it looks like his first step in the gaming industry was as quality assurance on Earthbound. Really? Yep. Oh, cool. Did you did it say what company he worked for at the time? Um. It says that um, the developer Gris Gris was founded in 98. Okay. That's like right after Earthbound. I think Earthbound was released in like 94 or 95. Yeah. Right? I think it was 94. Okay. I'm not sure though. I think it was close to my date of birth. It's older than me. But yeah, this is like... Not even... This game is, like, not even two months older than me. Two months older than you? Yeah, okay. What are all these? They're shoes. Like the little kid shoes? Yep. Interesting how the, the store, like, all the other ones, they were like, oh, it's painted on, it's, like, not even real. This one is, like, real but firmly shut. Mm -hmm. Which makes me feel like this is how we will eventually leave the school. They went downstairs, right? Oh, and there's shoes everywhere, so obviously it's the entrance. Mm-hmm. So oh, Nick, are you gonna go back up to the second floor? I mean, I, I've run out of available alternatives. I suppose you have. Is it gonna be like, as the game goes on, I work my way up higher and higher into the school and then I have to work my way back out? Like, with, with the forbidden knowledge or the key or whatever, and open that door? <laughs> no, but you just explore more of the school. Oh! Well, now I'm gonna need two boards. Well, I guess you're taking the board back. Yeah. I mean, might as well. It's not usable here. Mm-hmm. STP bucket. Oh, yeah. I am going to check out the hair cabinet one more time. One more time. Just to make sure nothing has changed in that regard. I want to tempt fate. That's enough fate tempting. Is that is that your way of saying I'm wasting time? No, no. <laughs> it's just that if oh. I would be so freaked out. Like like, like uh -huh, I'm gonna step on it. I'm, I'm, Ooh, I'm on it. Now. Like we're we're like I'm I'm. It's fucking... gonna break. I'm fucking your donkey on the bridge in Shrek, and I'm like Shrek swinging the bridge like wildly. Yes. I can make Shrek references and you understand them now. God. It took so long. It did. Well, now I've. I've... You've seen one and two. Yeah, and I've. It's for the majority of our relationship, it's been that way. Yeah, I know. It's just at the beginning, it wasn't. Right. The lights. And honestly, Shrek has become a lot more 
a lot less relevant in the past couple of years, but like when we started dating, Shrek was like like right up in that zeitgeist. He he was like every every everyone was talking about Shrek and Betty White, and that was it. <laughs> mm hmm. Did I get to get a third one, or was it just reiterating what I had? Uh, I think you got a third one. On the corpse I had examined before. Yeah. I just got trapped in the classroom. Cool. Mashed with a blunt instrument. Ow. Okay, I understand the corpse part. I'm still kind of waiting for like the party part to kick in. The party. I've Fun already gone in there. Happen. No, you haven't. That was the other one you were talking about. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's great. I hope she's friendly. I hope so, too. I bet she is. I bet she's like a victim here. Boys to the left, girls at the end of the hall. I'm just gonna go into the boys' room. It's a bit drafty. The spirit of vengeful poops has, has yelled. <laughs> Try just a couple of times because I, I have noticed this is a game where sometimes doing things multiple times makes a difference. Ooh, he's gone. That was gonna happen on whatever door I opened first, wasn't it? This is better than the bucket. Like, at least it's a toilet. <laughs> right. None watered. Oh, that one was a little different. Well, there's some water. And some hair. Yummy. Is it a pea bucket? A clump of identifiable, unidentifiable meat in the rusted bucket. Completely crawling with maggots. Ew. Ah. Crusty buckets. Maggots. What more could you ask My favorite for? kind of meat is mystery. No. <laughs> It was both of it's the middle sinks that have the hair problem. Indeed. Very specifically. Okay. Well, if I get another key or something. Keep you in mind. Keep this one stall in mind. Girl room, second stall from the left. What? Ass medicine? <laughs> Can you explain? No, 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 no. What? Continue. Is she talking about a laxative? What? Okay. You're talking about lotion. You want lotion for your asshole? <laughs> She wants to moister moisturize her ass, and she asked for ass medicine. Yeah, and Naomi has it. <laughs> I'm gonna butter up my pooper. Real good. I'm. Hmm. <laughs> Oh boy. How do you feel about this, Nick?
I, I mean, I'm glad that there's some, like, levity to the situation, but I feel like we're in, like, the most inappropriate setting ever to, like, ask for, like, ask for medicine to butter your pooper and then walk away into the haunted bathroom. You know, like, as that happened, the only thing I can imagine was, like, if something like this happened to us. Because obviously it would. Yeah. <laughs> but how you'd be like, oh my god, I have to take my contacts out so bad. Please, we need some oh, pollution. Oh, oh my god, Kristen, I, I can't even, like... <laughs> you see, I, I've been like... thinking, like, I've been thinking what would be my chances in this situation, and you just brought up a very valid point. If I was if I was transported to this pocket dimension and I had my contacts in, I would have five hours maximum before I was <laughs> Like, the timer would be counting down. And I'm like, Nick, we're being chased by a ghost girl and you're worried about your eyes? Like, after after six hours, I would have to take my contacts out and then, like, cling to you like like a blind monkey. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Nick, but you're the fast runner. I'll pick you up and you tell me where to run. <laughs> you, why'd you go into the haunted locked stall? How'd you get in there? This stall was unopenable. You ever just, you know, climb into it? Yeah, she must have, like, crawled under the door or something. I, I really, like, okay, the, the game is, like, trying to tell me go somewhere else while she's doing this. But I don't want to. <laughs> One, because that seems like a, like a bad idea. And she's just gonna butter up her pooper. God, stop. God, why did... I I'm really curious what, like, the Japanese was that someone saw that sentence and was like, I'm gonna localize it into, like, buttering up a pooper. Mm -hmm. Like, what? what is... What? Are you... Oh, is Yuka, like, in this area, but in the other pocket dimension? Like, on another plane or whatever? Maybe. Shake hands. <laughs> Here's your ass cream back. Hmm. Oh, oh, Yuka was in that stall crying in the other realm and it was like locked when she was in there. It's open now, right? What the fuck? Why? She said that Yuka might be downstairs. But it, it was, she just came out. Maybe it got messy in there. Good question. She did mention her ankle wasn't good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, am, is there like a step counting mechanic because her ankle's broken and I have to get out of here like in a certain amount of movement? Oh, it's okay, honey. Kristen, I'm so paranoid about every possible mechanic. It, it's okay. I have to start optimizing routes. God. Yo, same. It's like fresh too. I like. I hope that's not someone we know. Oh God. But I, I don't think they'd kill any of the characters like like off screen in that sort of way yet. Right. But then that raises the question, you know, who is it? Who is that poor lad? 
No name tag. Or Lassus. Molasses. I can't find a name tag in the goop. So Nick, do you think you want to save your game? Bye. Um. Yeah, was there a save point up here? I think there's one down there, yeah. Something. Oh, I thought. Uh, should I go save? Are you recommending I save? That, that's what that little piece of paper was saying. And to make multiple save states. Okay. Before it exploded. No, this is just like the first chapter, so I think just two will be fine. Well, regardless, we'll go find candle. Yup. Checking in. There's a candle. It doesn't work. No, it's, no, it doesn't. Can I get it to work. Uh, no. I think it works in another pocket. Okay. There we go. But we got two of those now. Yep. Just in case I fuck up here and condemn, like, this little sister to a horrible death. In the first chapter of the game. Yeah. Something about those flies. It, the headphones really help, actually, because they have, like, spatial sound going on with some of this yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, I noticed some of the screaming was coming more from the right or left. Um, this is about where I stopped last time and turned around, right? And it's like, I'm gonna go deal with that board. I don't think I've gone this far. Ghost, did I talk to that? I think you did. Oh no, I stopped up here because there's like a- there's a death over here or something. I'm about to like run into something terrible. Is with that door. That door is like sealed like there's a demon in there. Head on. Apply directly to it. Oh no. When we found Yuzuha's body, I saw a black shadow. Oh, that was a girl at the other end of the hall. Uh-huh. Now it's killed them all. I'm so sorry, everybody. I'm so sorry. Well, what's your name? Oito Fujiwara. That seems like like. I'm you want a... you want to talk to the door? I want to take a look to the right real quick. Okay. At least one more left for something back here. A lot back there, actually. Let's start with this. Well, if there's that much over there, I might just want to, like... Aw, he's sitting. Skeletal remains of a girl with a big hole in her skull sitting on the chair. Closer inspection reveals an ID name tag. Asuka Kato. What does oh. a scrap of paper say? I don't know. I'm kind of worried about that ominous glowing. Crumpled up note fell from the skeleton's head. You're an idiot, Koito. If you don't believe with all your heart, then you'll never get rescued. No. Oh. I thought we were friends.
What could that be? Could it be a key? Could it be a poopy? Yeah, maybe I have to deposit it in the shit bucket. Wait, I thought it was over here. Now it's over there. Oh, I'm going to... Mm, this is going <laughs> to... This is going to be... A, this is going to be like a realm puzzle, isn't it? I'm going to have to like do something with multiple people. Hi. Someone else's thoughts echo in your mind. If you don't keep a close eye on it, that light's going to run away from you. Pay attention to its location, find the exact spot where it once stood, and examine it thoroughly. So, if I go in here... Ghost. It's right there at the edge of that little thing. Mm-hmm. I go in here... The edge of the ledge. But there it's like right next to that corner, right top right of that little corner. Mm-hmm. Other way around. Wait, we're going to ask that no matter where. Okay. He's not standing exactly there, and that kind of freaks me out. Like, I want to <laughs> push her down a space. But, like, it didn't prompt me anywhere else, so... Well, if it shows up right in front of her, then she should get it right. Yeah. Hopefully. Ideally. Or maybe you can try again. Okay, you see, my issue before was I assumed it was going to put her in the spot in front of me. I, I assumed that as well. Mistake appears to be non fatal. What day is it? Infirmary key. Cuties. Question is. The infirmary was back up those stairs, right? No, it's to the right. Down, it, I think. Oh, oh, I haven't been there Oh, wait. Yet. No, never mind. Yeah, you're right. It, it was oh, back down Oh, God, there's stairs. like three things I can do right now, and I don't know what order to do them in. I'm going to start with the cursed door. Do not enter under any circumstances. Well, it definitely won't be opening anytime soon. Okay, one less thing to worry about. Excuse me. Excuse you indeed. What's the infirmary? The door is unlocked. Okay, what terrible thing awaits me in this hell room? A candle! That's like one of the only good things in this game. <laughs> and nothing important happened yet, so I feel like I could save over both of these and make it newer. Yeah. Anatomical diagram of the human body tacked to the wall. Blue. It's like colored it in, they've colored in the lines too. E. Mr. 
just hair comes out. Water before you say on. I feel like that's actually like good news that there's medicine and like rubbing alcohol available in this haunted school. Mm hmm. Scissors. The blades are liberally covered in blood. Your weary bones. I really like sleeping in beds that are in corners, but I hate like making and taking care of it. Right. In corners. Yeah. I feel like this was like pivotal to like me getting the good ending, like fixing her leg. Like if I hadn't solved that puzzle and got the infirmary key and came back here, she would have died at some point. Oh, that's just my guess, at least. Mm -hmm. You could get a pea-filled rag. Yeah. And some mystery meat in a bucket. Yeah, that might help. Yeah. Yeah. They're gonna sleep next to each other. Oh, man. Spicy. I mean, there's no sinning when you're already in hell. <laughs> True. Pushing the beds together tonight. Which one's ass that's freshly buttered again? Um, Seiko, the one up top. Okay. Oh, is that so? Mm -mm. Aww. They're talking about glasses, Kun, aren't they? No, they're not. They're talking about main character Kun. Satoshi. Why is he main character Kun? And I've seen him for like three minutes. I I'm just going to see them for the first two chapter, aren't I? Yep, this is primarily fo following those two. These two. Is each chapter going to be focused on like a different little group? Yeah. But he's still the main character. Mm hmm Okay. He's shooting the breeze. Mm -hmm. Was she the one that was like taking care of her family because her mom disappeared? Um, that's Seiko. But okay. yeah, Naomi only lives with her mom. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I I know we went through all the character things, but I'm bad at memorizing yeah, that. Yeah, no problem. It doesn't help that their Sprites. hair and eye colors are like the, the same. They look very similar. But I, I know that's because they're supposed to be a pair. Mm hmm. Oh, wow. You know what? Yeah, I'll take a screen cap. <laughs> but you didn't want to do it for the pooper? You know, I thought about it, and, and then I got distracted because, <laughs> like, that was just so much. Oh, yeah. And out of nowhere, too. Oh, 
No, I don't like whenever you split up. Let's split up, gang. <laughs> Keep that ass parked right there. Was, was he actually being like innocent there like he just actually couldn't see in the dark yeah okay oh don't like that Oh boy. Am I gonna meet hair girl here? Children. More like a model fused to the desk surface. It can't be lifted and the pages can't be turned. That's pretty freaky. Yeah, that's the, the kill. That's the... Wait, no, no. Go back to that other poster. And hide the window. Oh, okay, interesting. Wash the blood with soap. You mean like the blood on the scissors? Originally, it was wash your hands with soap. Oh, boy. Uh oh. You're in danger. It's always hair. You don't like the hair? Who's writing? Oh yeah? Ooh. Oh yeah, huh? You can't look at my fan fiction. How to remove a tongue. First, you must ensure the patient's arms and legs are tied down tightly, preventing escape. Next, insert a fixed metal object into the patient's mouth to impede jaw movement and keep the mouth locked in an open position. The patient may attempt to pull back or curl its tongue to impede your progress. No need to worry. The effect of this will prove negligible. Open your scissors all the way, then close them hard around the base of the tongue as far back as you can manage. The patient will thrash and scream, so it is recommended you apply as much pressure as possible and attempt to complete your task in one fell swoop. Alright. Good to know. Well... Yeah, wasn't there- weren't there scissors here before? Yeah. There was medicine in there before. No, there was scissors in here before. Oh, scissors, yes. Maybe that's what they're writing with. Oh, okay, literally, I'm... 
Don't get caught. Okay. I'm getting cornered. Yep, I'm cornered. Eighteen out of thirty. If only I had scissors to cut the hair. I can't go that way. Box of matches. Okay. Okay, what can I set on fire with the matches? Probably hair. Does hair set on fire? Hair sets on fire. Okay. Come up here. Okay, um... You know what else you have in this room? Alcohol. Right? Yep. Alright, come around here. Okay. Who's in here? Or in here? Or was it in here? Okay, we've splashed rubbing alcohol on the hair on the door lighting the match a sizable whoosh and a waft of foul smelling heat and hair little hair smells really bad when it's on fire yeah hardened and fell away you would know yeah i would the story is not being told <laughs> It was very brief and it happened, and then we learned that hair smells bad when it's burned. Even in small amounts? Yeah. Oh, Naomi. No, you're a stupid ghost. Is this, is this gonna be, like, a more interesting playthrough if I intentionally die a few times? Like, would something interesting have happened there if I failed? I think so, yeah. Okay. But it's okay if you don't. There are gonna be a couple of times that I think it'll just happen naturally. Plus, I, like, saved right before that so I could go back in any time and see what happens. Yeah. I might do that at the end when we're done here. Oof. Did she tell her about the ghost? Nope. Oh, there we go. I'd probably be feeling similarly. Oh yeah, you didn't even get a good rest. Yeah. Naomi, 
The class rep was the one that brought the doll, right? Yeah. Okay. I do appreciate how Seiko's trying to like Like just keep morale up. Yeah. And and then a Franklin D. Roosevelt quote. I guess Naomi doesn't feel the same. Mm-mm. Hey, keep it together. Can't blame you, though. That's like the worst part. Like that you're self aware you're acting like an asshole. Yeah. But you're just so done that you can't not. Yeah. Excuse me. Dang girl, you threw up on your clothes. Did she? Yeah, look at her sprite and then look at her art. Oh, yeah. Aww. Is Henny so close to home for her? Yeah. How would her mom have disappeared though? Because everyone else was like related to the school. I think that's left to interpretation. I don't like think... it's not relevant to this plot. Right. It's just like a character trait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh! And you're not normal. Uh-oh. Always a bad idea. Yep. Don't break up, you guys. Could I have prevented that split up? No. Okay. You could not. Nice meat puddle. Oh, yeah. そして、この異空間に拉致されたものの中でも同じ次元に存在することもできた私たち二人は簡単に喧嘩別れをしてしまった。あの、まさに私の意地っぱりも。
大きな後悔を招くことになるのはその後すぐのことだった Oh, the music. Oh, it's gonna fucking shift now they're in other planes. Oh, man. She's not here. Oh. Ow, my poor heart. Uh oh. Just, just don't. Here we just. Oh. Music got really intense. It did. Just wake up. Mm -hmm. Oh, I accidentally hit that again. Uh, good idea. Might have missed that boat. I support this idea. It's a good idea, but it might be a little or late. Or not. Oh. Help, it hurts. If only that help did not return either, that's actually like limited. I've only got. That's weird. I thought that the help did return because she wasn't hurt. It was just Naomi. Yeah, weird. Yeah, weird. What is all this? Just... Click on school. And then you'll see, like, the students that were brought there. Oh, 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 like, the okay, the students that were brought from all these other schools? Yep. Oh my god. That's a lot. Yep. Wow, okay. Why are all the ones from chapter one grouped in the middle of the list, though? It's kind of <laughs> weird. Okay, I did the log. It's the only path forward. Oh, how cute. Their first fight. Hopefully not the last. Third floor. Seiko, 
I checked out the spooky scary. Uh, yes, you have. That will surely save me. You lie. I had not. Oh, whoops. No, don't look. You looked, didn't you? I didn't see. Okay. My cool. eyes aren't good enough. All right, where is she? Oh, what? Not the boys' room. I guess not. Or I, I guess that... I just put a content warning in chat. Oh, I, I figured. Okay. As long as I don't know the details. Personally, I do not need a warning, but I'm glad that you would do that for the uh, other unidentifiable meat. The only thing I want you to warn me about is the future pea buckets. There's shoes outside of that door. There are. There's still hair in the sink. I see a rope up there. The bucket. What you gonna do, Nick? I'm gonna get the bucket. So she can stand on it. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. Full of moldy deposits. Yeah, it usually happens quickly. You cannot have avoided this. Okay. This, quite unfortunately, is consistent with every iteration it, of Corpse Party. It seems like out of character, though. It seemed like it didn't seem like she was going to do that. You're correct. It is out of character. I don't know. Okay, I... Mm. I'll let this play out, then I'll give my theory. Continued in Chapter 2! Do you want to do a chapter a night? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's good. Are they all, like, about that length, you'd say? Yeah. Okay. I, I would say, like, the final chapter, chapter five, is a bit longer, but... Not by too much. Right. Okay, so... I, I think there was, like, a shift, and they ended up in alternate versions of the school when that earthquake happened. Uh-huh. And that, that's, like, not actually her. Like, may, maybe it is, like, a real body, but it's, like, it's, it's, it's like, a spirit fucking with her or something. Because mm. they saw, like, how important they were to each other, and it's, like... What, what can we do to break these people? Mm -hmm. That's my guess, anyway. I have no clue. Do, do you want me to, like, let you, like, tell you? 
how how on point it is, or do you want to like find out like as we continue? Um, don't give me any details, but just if a zero is completely off the mark and ten is on point, give me a number, and you can lie too. So how about so? I guess primarily the thing that I want to say is that um, like some of the uh, the manga that's been like made for the series like has like some alternative stuff that happens oh like it's giving more context or possibilities to what's happening in the game yeah like stuff i may not necessarily get in the game but if i read a manga i'd know more yeah so in one of the mangas naomi does save seiko by like giving her the bucket and stuff okay to which seiko bolts in complete fear, runs away from Naomi, but still does not escape death. It, it would happens you in a different manner. Would you like to know how it happened? Does she get thrown? Throw, does her tongue get cut out? No. Nope. Uh, she runs into a room laced with piano wire. Oh, what? Yep. I, I might be incorrect about about if like that's like an actual manga or not because at some point I did go down a rabbit hole of corpse party manga and I think I got to like some not official stuff so I don't remember how official that is but like okay where did my saves go they want to pick up back up where I saved and die to that infirmary ghost and see what happens oh uh, yeah go to chapter one real quick the chapter select and then one? Yes. Oh, there, okay, we, there we go. go. I just want to see what awful thing's going to happen here. Oh, like a cute moment. Hold on. Hold on, can you... Oh, cool. I didn't even notice that button. Thank you. Yes, of course. But yeah, I think that's, I think that's going to be the only content warning that I really need to give. That's kind of like the, the ooh factor. Mm -hmm. Not to say that there isn't, doesn't continue to be disturbing stuff, because there is. But, you know, in particular suicide. Right. I fuck with people. Yep. I have to do something to trigger. Uh, and then go back to the door, maybe? Oh, and it's gonna be covered in hair. <laughs> there we go. Freaky nonsense. Okay, we're just gonna... Just giving her a hug! Wait. I feel like I know what's gonna happen, but let's see. Okay. So that, that woman is going to be important. I need to remember her. Woohoo! Oh, bad just, end. Just like a hard game over. Yep. 
Does that count as like an ending list? Go down to three and four. There we go. What did I miss then? What what else could I have done? <laughs> Are the, uh, is it even possible I could have gotten all these at this point? Here, uh, would you like me- here, let me look at them. I probably shouldn't look at extra yet, whatever that is. <laughs> but since it doesn't tell me what these are, I'm just gonna look at the chapters and like see how many possible endings there are in each of them. Oh my god. Yep, yep. Yep. And then extra is actually even more, whatever that is. Ahaha! <laughs> so it's a one of those endings you achieve by not reading paper. You remember that room where it's where that soul was like, "Don't read the newspaper." Oh yeah, if you if you if you say don't read the newspaper, there's just a bad ending. Nope, nope. Just if you don't read the newspaper, and you keep on going through. You do get a a different ending uh, after Seiko dies. What is this? Is this a spoiler? No, no. I think it's just like. It just happened after I didn't press any buttons. Yep. Ooh, there they are. Our characters. And the last ending of chapter one requires you to read all of the memoirs in order. So it's like the, uh... Is it like a hidden ending, kind of? Yeah, because it's it just ends with the two girls kind of just, like, screaming into darkness. So, like, some of these endings are, like, very minor variations. Yeah. So I, I, I don't need to necessarily worry about getting all of them. Right. Okay. So, like, okay, two and four still go to the same point is one. It doesn't cut short, like, three, but okay. both changes. Okay, so two goes to the same as one, but four is its own thing where the two the two girls just, like, they don't get anywhere. They don't find anyone. They just... Die alone. Yeah. They, like, they make absolutely no progress at all. Yeah. And what, what did and, you And say? it just, like, ends with just, like, them screaming for help. And what do you? How do you trigger that one again? So that one, you have to read all of the memoirs from students left behind. So that, I think the one that you missed was right outside of the boys' bathroom. Bathroom. Oh, so like literally collecting all of the memoirs would have triggered a bad ending. Yeah. Because it would have given them all the context for something. Yeah. And then they'd be like utterly despaired. Mm-hmm. Okay. But you have all of the other endings. Okay, so like the true endings get you from one chapter to the next. Like that's going to be the ending number one for each one. Yeah, and the rest of them are quote unquote wrong endings. Okay, so I just need to worry about getting ending number one for each one for the real story. Mm -hmm. But like if I if I like easily know I missed one and I can just easily go back and check it like with like with this one, I, I will. Yeah, but like if, 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 it's if you just like out of the way, I won't. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right, that's good. I like it.
Uh, we'll play more later. Cool. Is it is this good for spooky month? Yeah, I just wish we started sooner. Yeah. But um, we we can center it around Halloween going into early November. Yeah, plus, like, tomorrow's Friday, the next day is Saturday, then Halloween is on Sunday. Hey, maybe we could, like, actually just finish it, like, on Halloween. Yeah. If we, if we, if we don't have any other things pop up, like, maybe a chapter tomorrow, and then, like, two on Saturday, and then finish it on Sunday, something I, like that. Yeah, I think, I think that's totally feasible for us. I, like, this was just like a two hour long stream. I think all of the other chapters will take around that long, except for the last one, but like Yeah. It, it's a digestible game. Yeah. It's not it's not an incredibly long game. Yeah, I gotcha. Alright. That that was fun. Thanks yep. for joining people. Yep. Prepare for more spooky game time. Spoopy.